After all this time, that little lady I telephoned when I was in high school called me back to let me know she finally caught up with her refrigerator. Hello and welcome to Listgrip Live, where we solve problems fast so you can grow your business fast. You're about to witness two small business owners faced with one business problem, and they'll have just 60 seconds to come up with as many solutions as possible. I'm your host, Dave Charbonneau, and let's go ahead and meet our contestants for today. First, let me introduce Simone Vincenzi. Welcome, Simone. Uh, what's, Thank you. What's the name of your business? The name of the business is GTEx. GTEx, and what is your business about? Yeah, we uh, turn experts uh, into authorities by helping them create uh, live events that sell like crazy. Cool. All right. Powerful introduction. Sounds good. Simone, Simone I have a uh, multiple choice warm up question for you. On the best entertainment value on TV, a series called Psych, the lead character named Sean created a piñata. Who's, in whose image did he create this piñata? A. Rick Astley. B. Boris Karloff. C. Burton Guster. Definitely Burton Guster. Rick Astley, A, was the answer we were looking for. And, uh, Damn it. It's all right. It's a <laughs> Having question. a clue about what you were talking about would have made it easier. That might help, but it doesn't, uh, doesn't matter for the show. Uh, what's your website? Website is uh, gtex.org.uk. Gtex, spell that because there's a... G, yeah, G tex.org.uk. That is correct. Welcome to the show, Simone. Next up is Shahara Wright. Welcome, Hi. Shahara. Welcome. And uh, what's the name of your business? It is the CEO Effect. The CEO Effect. And what is it that you do? Um, so I'm a business law attorney and business strategist, and I work with clients to help them scale, have better cash flow, and create better systems in their business. All right. Um, so... I was going to go a different direction, but we don't have time for that. I do have a warm-up question for you. How many times has the host of List Drift Live been ticketed for jaywalking? A, one, B, three, or C, two? I'm going to go with three. The correct answer is one. Sarah, uh, Shahara, oh. I said Sarah. I buzzed myself. That's right. <laughs> Shahara, what's, uh, what's your website address? It is theceoeffect.net. That is correct. All right, let's welcome Simona and Shahara to List Drift Live. And now let's move on to the game, shall we? I have here the rules for today's challenge. I will read these rules. Then we will begin this contest. I have a list of real problems found from real people on the Internet. One of these problems has been selected for our show today. Simone, Shahara. Once I describe today's business problem, you will see it on your screen and you will hear this sound. When you hear that sound, you'll begin typing your ideas for solutions into the private chat room. You are to come up with as many ideas for solutions as you can in just 60 seconds. Silly ideas and even bad ideas will be accepted as long as they're relevant to the problem. You'll want to keep entering ideas until you hear this sound. Once you hear that sound, players will stop, will discuss your ideas, and declare today's winner. All right. Looks like we have ourselves a business idea showdown. Simone, are you ready? I'm ready. Shahara, are you ready? I'm ready. Don't start until you hear the air horn, and I will repeat the question once. I manage social media accounts for small business owners, and I want to attract more clients. What are some attention-grabbing headlines for advertising my social media management business? What are some attention-grabbing headlines for advertising my social media management business. Go, time to go. Okay, we'll get back to our players in one minute, but first let me tell you what I learned about our players. Simone is 5.5 feet tall, that's five foot six inches here in the US, and plays basketball in the UK Pro League. He beatboxes with a didgeridoo, didgeridoo something like that, um, and he climbed a mountain once naked and got sunburned everywhere. Shahara likes watching Korean dramas, sci-fi, and fantasy movies. She loves to travel, but she doesn't have any travel plans thus far this year. Find the links in the description and connect with both Simone and Shahara. Speaking of connecting, if you like people, do I have a deal for you? It's a Listrift community on Facebook. Come hang out with us over at listrift.com forward slash 
FB group. If you want to see how you can solve problems fast and grow your business fast, get my video cheat sheet at listdrift.com forward slash how to. All right, looks like our time is up. Let's check in with our players. Players, it's time to stop typing and deliver up your answers. Stop typing, put your fingers away. I have not seen any answers come through. Uh, can we put them through now? All right, yes, please submit them. All right, I've got answers from both of you. And before we go over there, over these answers, it's time for bonus questions. These are, of course, worth zero points, but my SEO expert tells me I need these. Okay, Simone, here's your question. What is the name for a large wind instrument developed by indigenous Australians? Definitely the didgeridoo. That is definitely correct. I couldn't pronounce it during the, uh, during the contest there, so I'm glad that you clarified that. Uh, Shahara, here is your question. What city, what city or area were French fries invented? A. La Rochelle, France. B. Montreal, Canada. C. Meuse Valley, Belgium. I'm going to go with Belgium. That is correct. Okay, Yay. enough with the fun and games. It's time to get back to business. I'm going to read over your answers. Simone, I want you to listen as I read the solutions from Shahara, and you let me know the answer that stands out to you the most. Shahara writes, don't have terrible social media. Your social media sucks. These are headlines, remember. She's not <laughs> insulting anybody here. Well, maybe she is. Is this a personal? All right, never mind. We'll continue. I'll start over. Don't have terrible social media. Your social media sucks. Social media for dummies. I can help you figure out Facebook. Why can't I see you on Facebook? Did you really mean to post that? If you need more clients, why are you not? It's supposed to be on. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> I didn't finish. On Facebook? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to include that. Why are you not? Thank you for stopping when the... When the <laughs> cow saying his tune there um simone what uh, stood out to you uh your social media sucks your social media sucks <laughs> yep. all right why did that stand out uh, because it, it gets you to stop it's like no it doesn't <laughs> and then it triggers you and it said no i want to hear more so i think uh um it, it can be an headline used carefully but for the right kind of audience it could work very well i can get that i, I get that shahara tell me why you put that as your answer i think because mine usually sucks and that's what i think about when i'm like trying to get my social media together i'm thinking this sucks um so that would definitely make me stop so this was was a personal attack, but it wasn't against <laughs> anyone else. You were writing a note to yourself. Okay. Pretty much, well, yeah. Shahara, let me read the solutions from Simone and look for one of his answers that stands out to you. Uh, Simone wrote, more followers, more money. Build your cash flow paradise with social media. The only thing you need to get more customers faster. Not enough clients? We get you sorted. Started? Sorted. Started. Sorted. Sorted. Okay. Yeah. All right, and Shahara, what stood out to you the most here? I like the cash flow paradise one. I like that. Okay, what appealed to you in that answer? I think there's those are two things that I think people really um, look forward to have is of course you know having more cash flow and then the idea of being in paradise. I think those two go well together. Very well, and Simone, uh, why did you put that as your answer? I put that because uh, I think uh, cash flow, as uh, Shahara said, uh, cash flow is crucial and uh, everyone uh, wants to live in paradise. So <laughs> put them together. Right on, right on. Well, you know, I once came across a million dollar headline. I kid you not, this works for any product, any service. It goes like this. Game over. Uh oh, looks like we're out of time. Let's tally up the points. <laughs> Double check here, tally, 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 tally. I used to have people number them, and then it was easy. <laughs> but I found that I got fewer, fewer responses, which is not as good. We want as many responses as possible. So now we have to kind of wait while I do the math and double check. And um, I show one player has four responses, and one has seven. And I'm sorry, but Simone, you did not win the Listrift Challenge today. You stuck up, half-witted, 
scruffy looking yeah. nerf herder. All right, all right, let's kind of keep things civil here. Um, of course, this means that Shahara, you've won it all. Congratulations. <laughs> you won today's list for live. You know, Jordan Belfort's character in Wolf on Wall Street said, let me tell you something, there's no nobility in poverty. I've been rich, I've been a rich man, and I've been a poor man. But he's never won on this Riff Live. Not only have you won the game, you've won a selfie with the Victory Cat. Uh, there's the Victory Cat right there. And Shahar, if I could have you move to your right just a little bit. All right, let me figure out which way is my right. Okay, yeah, this way. <laughs> a little bit, little bit less. Go back to your left. There we go. Right there, let's take a picture or two. Oh, wonderful, congratulations. And for those of you watching, I hope you got some useful ideas you can use in your own business. And whether you're with us live or you're catching the replay, I want you to add your ideas for solutions in the comments section. And let's thank our guests. Uh, Simone Vincenzi says, look, this is gonna be the longest outro ever because I don't know how to pronounce your guys' names. Okay, Simone Vincenzi from gtex.org.uk and Shahara Wright from the CEO Effect.net. I use the links in the show description on our Facebook page to connect with today's contestants. Also, if you enjoyed the program, be sure to share it. Share it on your timeline and use the link in the description to subscribe. Also, be sure to join me and others at the List Drift community on Facebook. Go to listdrift.com forward slash FB group that will forward to the group on Facebook and pick up the video cheat sheet over at listdrift.com forward slash how to. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on List Drift Live. <laughs>